I'm Laurie Taylor Weicker, pastor for Education and Discipleship. We've been asked why it is that we need a prayer of confession every week in our worship bulletin. Each week, the preaching pastor will write some liturgy which includes the prayer of confession. Someone else might say that prayer on Sunday, but is written by the preaching pastor. Sometimes the prayer is responsive, sometimes it's something we say corporately, sometimes it includes silent prayer. Each and every week when we gather for worship, we affirm both that we are loved unconditionally by God, just as we are. And we affirm that all have fallen short of the glory of God. We are not yet the people that God intends us to be. And so when we gather for worship as the body of Christ, we tell the truth that we are sinful, that we live in a sinful and broken world, that we don't have it all figured out. We confess that even the most righteous of us, the most faithful of us, the most well-behaved of us have fallen short of the glory of God. However, each and every time we confess our sin, there is an assurance of pardon. God's grace can exist without sinfulness, but every time there is sin, we trust that God's grace covers that. So we hear the good news of the gospel. In Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. We hear that God's mercy is from everlasting to everlasting. This is good news.